Jefferson Multimedia. Hi. Let's talk about how to make sure that your computers are plugged in and powered up each day. This is something the students need to do. So starting with the left side of the classroom with the big PCs or personal computers, the first row, where do you guys plug in? Underneath your desk, right to the other side of the table leg. So you may need to ask the person sitting in this chair to plug in for you. Second row, you are also plugged in in front of your seat. So you may have to ask the person in front of you to plug you in. Third row with the big PCs, you are also plugged in in front. Back row, you are plugged in in back. Other side of the room, what do we have? Front row, you're plugged in back. Second row from the studio, you are plugged in back, but third row, you're plugged in front. And then back row, are you plugged in underneath? Yeah, it's right there. The only place you should plug in your laptops should be underneath your desk. Don't plug your laptops into the wall. Look underneath your desk and you'll find a power strip there. Some of them have a power switch where you have to turn it on. And if you look at this one, you'll see it has green and red lights. If you see a power switch and there are lights there that are off, guess what? Flip the switch, turn it on. Some of them have switches and some of them don't. Every now and then you'll see that it's upside down from what we're used to, like this one. And notice this one doesn't have a power switch. You just need to make sure it's plugged in. I won't plug your computers in for you. I won't turn them on for you. This is something we'll do every day and we will learn by doing. If you're not plugged in or not powered up, get up out of your seat, plug it in yourself, or ask the person in the next row to plug it in if it's easier for them. If you're on the side with the new computers, there's a lot to go over. Several rows of stuff. Let's move in for a close up. Take a look at the back of your CPU, your central processing unit, which is the big tower, right? If you look in ports number seven and eight, that is where your mouse and your keyboard is plugged in. Right below port number eight, this is your ethernet cord. This is your internet cable. So make sure it's plugged in and when it's working well, you'll usually see a blinking light. And then your monitor cable is the row below that. It's the one, two, three, it's the third port over. So make sure everything is plugged in and tight. Same thing for your power cord at the bottom. Make sure it's plugged in all the way. Then on the back of the monitor, your power cord is here, should be plugged in tightly, and the connection to the monitor goes here. To turn on your computer, the power button is in the top right. Press it and you'll know it's on when it lights up. If your monitor isn't on, press the button right below this little circle. If it's on, it'll be blue. If it's off, it's usually yellow. Once you're at your workstation, usually hit the space bar. You want to log in with your FWCS information. You might need to find your Adobe Creative Cloud icon, double click and reinstall Premiere Rush or Photoshop on the new computers. If you do, go ahead and do that. If you wanna double check that, click on the Windows button in the far bottom left it will show you if you have them installed or not. At the end of the hour, I don't want you to turn your computers off. Leave them turned on, but sign out by clicking on the Windows button. Go to the top where your name is, give that a click, and then sign out. And when you do, it'll go back to the desktop like this. But make sure you sign out at the end of the hour. You don't want to shut your computers down. There's a lot, so we're going to quiz over this several days in a row. But it's up to the students to get things up and working. I cannot turn every single machine on for you. We'll need to learn to do this ourselves, and we'll learn it by doing it over and over and by quizzing repeatedly until we know the procedure. But that's all I got. See you soon. Bye-bye.